Uh, sir, we move to video number four. Uh, the first question I'd like uh, your views are with uh, regard to the nomination of uh, the former Chief Justice of India, Ranjan Gogoi, to the Rajya Sabha. How do you see that as a practice um, that has been sort of, what doesn't know, maybe followed in future? Yes, that's true. Yes. <coughs> well, the, the public opinion was that he was elevated because of his judgment in the Ayodhya case. I mean, that, that was a view. That's what. That's a possible view that may be contested, may not be contested. He may think differently. <coughs> but he had a precedent. Yes. You see, Ranganath Mishra yes. <laughs> was appointed before him. Yes, before so, him. he had a precedent. So, yes. And uh, therefore, yes. there was something to be said. But, uh, but it's not a very healthy practice okay. uh, to pick, pick on judges and give them uh, not a very healthy practice at all. Therefore, I, I, would, I, I would hesitate to advise any government to so appoint because there is bound to be a backlash. There is bound to be a backlash. Howsoever capable that person may be. Uh, may be viewed differently. Differently, by different people. Therefore, it's a, because there is always a tension between the judiciary and the executive. Yes. And there should be. I like it. I like it. They're bound to be. Bound to be and they should be. Because the more more, the otherwise it becomes terrible. Yes. yes. I still remember that someone from Bombay told me this story. A solicitor from Bombay. He had gone years ago to one of the Middle Eastern countries. I don't know which. I don't remember which. And uh, there to discuss certain problems with the, uh, it was some trade uh, dispute, etc. And uh, the secretary of the department and the, my, my, the, my friend, the uh, solicitor in Bombay, they, they also found that there was one gentleman who was sitting in a remote corner sitting there. So he said, who is that gentleman? Oh, he said, I haven't introduced him. He is our chief justice. So, <laughs> you see, and there was a chief justice yes. sitting and exchanging notes with a member of the executive, which is never done, I mean, in any other part of the world. But, 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 but that's, that's, that, that's a sort of, you see, a different facet yes. of, of, uh, of judging, which is abhorrent to us when we all speak of rule of law and so on and so forth. Yes. Because there is bound to be this tension and therefore there must be this gap there must be this separation. That's why the importance of this separation, when we say separation of, of, yes. of, of, of powers, is that it has, must be there. And that's the only effective way when they, they, when they both function together and one trumps the other, that ultimately some, some yes. solution is found. Yes. Mm. So therefore, it's very difficult to say about Mr. X or Mr. Y or Mr. Z. But, uh, but generally, it is something should be frowned on, frowned upon. It should not be uh, occur. And I hope it not, does not happen again. That's all one can say. One can wish. One yes, can sir, wish. one can wish. Thank you, sir. Uh, now, I'll uh, invite your attention to a book, The State of the Nation, that came out in 2013. Now, you had expressed in the book a view that our judiciary has inherent, and you go on to say, an almost unbridled uh, powers of contempt even beyond the laws enacted by the parliament. Now, nobody would disagree with your. Uh, yeah, because there is an article, two articles yes, in yes. the constitution but giving. How can a, this change, sir? How can this change? This position that uh, the enormous powers which the judiciary wields, the powers of contempt. Yes, you see, the, uh, when it should be exercised is a matter of, 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 of grave uh, dispute. For instance, I'll give you. You are right. You see, when there was a there was a judge who was slightly off his head, uh, I forget his name now. He, he made all sorts of allegations and so on against the j j j judges of the Madras High Court. Uh, I forget his name. You you will yes. recollect his name a few years ago. Okay. And the Supreme Court, Gogo's judgment is there. Okay. I think yeah, they they convicted him for contempt. 
Are you of referring course. to Justice Markande Kardu? Uh, yes. No, not Kardu, not Kardu, okay. the yeah. other chap. Okay. Another yes. fellow, what's his name? I forget. Uh, names. Denakaran or, so yes, yes. Uh, he was convicted for yes. contempt and I, I opposed it. Because I said that, look here, you can't convict him for contempt, you can get him off the bench if you like. If you, you uh, impeach him if you like. Yes. Do, the, do the normal thing. The, right. You can't high ranking judges who themselves commit for contempt, can't be committed for contempt themselves. Yes. You remove them if you like. That's one, that's one way to do, deal with it. And uh, I, I forget his name, but you will get his name yes, presently uh, uh, and yes, you will sir, in, include yes, it in, in this. Yeah. Yes, sir. Mm. Now, sir, there is a book that you have written titled God Save the Honorable Supreme Court. Now, your concluding remarks uh, on the basic structure was uh, the response of an anxious activist court to the experience of working of India's constitution during the first 23 years. Now, you said that it now remains as an auxiliary uh, precaution against a tidal wave of a majoritarian rule, no, which we are experiencing no, and you have referred to since 2014. Now, after a lapse of nearly 30 long years. Now, what according to you is the reason that such a state has come to exist? And what can be done to... You see, I still think that the basic structure doctrine must stay. Yes, it's, it's now nine judges have re-endorsed re re it. It is now part of our, 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 our judicial uh, stru structure. The, the, the basic structure basic doctrine. Structure. Right? That's the only safeguard that we have. Now, the, the, why I say this is that even parliament has accepted it. Yes. How? Because if you will find that there is a particular provision in the constitution, article 359, which expressly says that which of the Fundamental rights can be suspended yes. during an emergency, whether a financial emergency or a political yes. emergency. And it is after this that Parliament has upheld the provision in 359 constitutional amendment which said that you can suspend all any or all of the fundamental rights except yes. article 20 and 21. Now why accept article 20 and 21? Because they are basic yes. to the structure of the constitution. So right, right. parliament itself having accepted it, yes. I, w I would argue, I mean yes. that's not been yet put, I would argue that therefore it is part of the constitution itself. The basic yes. structure is yes. now is yes. something that is embedded in the constitution. Thank you, sir. We come to the end of this video and uh, next is the last video uh, wherein we will look at the present workload in the Supreme Court. Thank you.